what you've enjoyed about your mission. Who first? <laughs> I've enjoyed the spirit. I, I love to feel the spirit and the feeling of light. I love associating with people, the other missionaries and staff. And uh, just being around in the, the, the feeling that we have when we're together with the other members of our zone. It's a wonderful experience. I, I like <clears throat> some of those same things, or all of those same things, but I also like the spirit that we felt when we're doing specific cases that those on the other side are not only interested, but that they're assisting us in the work. And uh, <clears throat> I love the closeness that we felt working together. This is our second mission together. And the other day we were walking across the church campus to the church office building to the cafeteria. And um, I said to her that if I just could feel your hand or just touch you, I feel support. She said, I feel the same thing. It's just been a joy to work together and been a joy to know we're in the service of the Lord and <clears throat> know how thin the veil is, how real this work is. And how real our ancestors are. Just, It's become so much more real in our experience. It's you just get such a, a an experience of history and wanting to know more. And it's amazing, as you sort of said, that when we're doing some of the cases that we do, to feel the presence of the people that we're working for. And quite often, when there's a question or you wonder just how you're going to write this um, answer back to the patron, the feeling that comes over you, what to say or what not to say. It's just so amazing. It's a wonderful a privilege to serve the patrons and to serve the Lord. I felt <clears throat> because of this, too, a lot of promptings for our own family history, you know. And that's mm -hmm. been a, a joy, too. They're eager. Mm -hmm. They're a lot more eager than we are. And our children have just been so much more um, attached to family and uh, getting this sense of history and. <coughs> ancestors they were already that way because he's a lot that way but they've become even more that way and our grandchildren have become closer to us and um, we don't live too far from here so this experience has affected their lives maybe even more I don't know but in our previous mission they had great blessings too from being away from them uh, they were just we were all just so blessed by that experience. So. I might say one thing that's unique about this mission. Unlike in other missions in the church, there are 1,200 missionaries in this mission. Many of them, when we, we meet every, as a mission, we meet every Monday morning for a devotional. And I see people come in in wheelchairs with walkers. One brother has his, his legs amputated above the knee, and uh, but they can all serve. Okay, we're elder and sister lawyer, Mike and Donna lawyer, and we live in Pleasant Grove, Utah. We're one week from the end of our of this mission. It's our second mission, with the, the family and church history headquarters mission. We served in the data quality zone and uh, had a wonderful experience. And uh, we're going to take a short break of a few months and then looking forward possibly to going to, as, as digital preservation missionaries to Marburg, Germany, Marburg on der Lahn, which was my first city there 50 years ago. And uh, what a chance of a lifetime that is, you know, to be able to do that, but <clears throat> there's such a spirit in this work that in any part of it is a great testimony builder, I think. It's true. 
Um, the break that we are going to take is not only just for refreshing, but to um, get our family online with our wanting to go again. <laughs> and they're very supportive of us. There are a few things we haven't done that they're looking forward to. So we'll take care of that and then um, and we'll usher in another great grandbaby and then we'll be on our way, hopefully, to do this mission in Marburg. And well, it's not the least exciting. Yeah, not the least of those things is our 50th wedding anniversary. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and we're excited. And just the other day I was thinking, you know, it's too bad we're not younger because we should have started earlier to start on some missions so we'd have even more done by now because it's been such a blessing and such a, a joy. It's, I can't imagine what our lives would be like if we hadn't served a mission. Uh, two missions now, it's just... In, in truth, adds, we're... So much. I keep interrupting here, but in, in truth, we're happier when we're serving a mission yeah. than we are not serving a mission. We feel greater joy, and we feel that our family feels the blessings, and we feel the blessings for them. And on our last mission, we had a hard time leaving home to go out on that mission, but when we tried to leave the mission to go back home, it was so much harder. It was just an amazing experience, and. This time is, uh, well, our family's closer now, but it's so much harder leaving the mission to go home than it is leaving home to go on a mission because you just form so much attachment and the feeling, the spirit is so much, so strong. It's true. It's just, uh, it's a great experience. Well, <clears throat> the, the, way to re you know, the way to request a mission, well, to go on this kind of a mission, you'd have to request it. And you'd first want to get your have an interview with your bishop and have him uh, initiate a recommendation and then you can give him the paperwork. I think the paperwork for seniors is a little, little more complicated than it is for the younger missionaries, um, but uh, it's something we can all do. So it takes a little bit of time. It's not something you could do overnight. It takes a few days to do the paperwork, but I think it would be important to know where you wanted to go you know, to a preservation mission, if you have a specific area in mind, you know, that there's a place on the paperwork to to note that, you know, and, and specify where you want to go. Um, Anything else? That I think what we've got is, is good. That covers? It's awesome. That covers everything. Unless we miss something you guys want to add. We'd, I always like to ask people if we've missed something, please. I don't think so. Is it hard? Just, Physical? Physically is it hard? Is uh, it hard? To, I know you, you kind of <clears throat> talked about your yeah. kids, but... Well, it wasn't I mean, easy. I mean, we, we had received a previous mission call to the Congo. And two weeks before the MTC, I went to the hospital with pneumonia. And it became obvious the Lord didn't want us to go to the Congo. And after a medical delay, we were sent here. And we have such a testimony that this is where we belong, where the Lord wanted us all along, but we didn't know that. So we're uh, eager to serve again. Uh, and there, I think there can be opposition when you're trying to do what the Lord wants you to do. Um, there's some opposition, and it just makes you stronger when you say, well, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to go for it because I know, and that's what you have to know, is that the Lord wants you to do it. And when you know that, you just make it through the opposition and just go for it. You know, it's just so. And uh, if we end up going to Marburg, I think that would just be um, a wonderful experience. I just love the idea of um, working with that end of family history and knowing that there are uh, progenitors here who are going to know more about their ancestors because we've captured the records and they're going to be able to look at it. And the church is just doing amazing things with records so people can get online and they can um, just see things they never could before. It's just, it's an amazing work and it's just rolling so fast. It's the Lord is really, really opening up yeah. our ability to do the work faster than we were able to do it.